Okay, we're back. We've just uh, laid in some of this uh, lip and eyelid color, sort of a peachy tone. We're gonna come in and what I've done is mix some decay, some dermatitis tan together, and then I put a couple little drops of vascular violet in just for a little spice. And I barely reduced it, a couple drops of reducer. Oh, I got some in there already. All right, what I like to do with mixed colors is set that cup aside so you don't bump it and have to come back and try to match that. Oh, the other thing is, rather than taking some decay in a cup and trying to chase it with lightening it up with the dermatitis tan, you're gonna use two bottles of this to try to get there. Start with the lightest color and add the darker color to that, okay? I learned that the hard way. My dad was always wondering, why do you need so much white? I don't know, I use it up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now what I'm gonna do with this color is I'm gonna kinda raccoon his eyes a little bit in this sullen dark, dark kinda shadowy brown tone. We're just gonna kinda overcoat this whole area, leaving some of that already laid in purple in there. We're just gonna get these graveyard Dark graveyard eyes, pardon me. We're gonna lift this up a little bit. Get in here. Yeah, I'm a little. Oh, funny. If you kind of go over some of that pink, we'll bring some of that back later. Or that peach, rather. Come in here on this side. We're gonna, whoops, let me just turn it a little bit here. I don't want it. Drop some in. We're just going to kind of lightly shade that. It's a little darker. Come up here a little bit. Get them all kind of graveyardy. Maybe I'll put a little too much on here. I'll come back. We'll just darken this one. All right. He's got a cool little we'll shadow of these his eye corners a little bit. Side of the nose. Give it a little shade. Maybe a little follow-up. It's kind of bleed it out a little bit so it's not just a black eye. But it's kind of what I was going for. We'll just shadow this a little bit more. Pull that shadow a little bit more around it. This is because he hasn't, he's been digging graves and stuff, doesn't see the sun a lot. All right, drop some in here just to keep the transition sweet. This will soften some of your wrinkles too. It'll just kind of off in that nose. And if you get too heavy, don't sweat it. We'll come back. We'll do some of the temple shadow a little bit. But later, we're going to put some of this, uh, again, from the Lifeline palette, the cool tone. We'll maybe haze some of that in there. Just make that under, that, that sunken in, you know, where you see his veins are popping through his gossamer like skin. It's so thin from being an old man. And get over here a little bit, just a little bit. Start shading some of his. Look, we'll get under here, his cleft of his chin a little bit, and under the lip, just a touch, and a little under his nose, maybe a little bit under his jawline, just shadow that a little bit for fun. Maybe in here. This is just kind of like, a, again, we're just kind of mapping out the paint jobs. So we gotta get under here, do that. Let's, might as well dig in some there, give him, start giving his mouth some shape. In fact, what we could do is we could blast this over rather than trying to chase every little crack between the teeth. We could just kind of hit that and maybe we'll come in with a brush and just detail them. But in between will be nice and shaded, you know, making his gappy teeth already really more gap. All right. Another cool thing with this color is uh, what I like to do is add these uh, freckles or you know, just little dark spots. And what that does also for a paint job where you want them to look sort of translucent and it's an opaque material, it makes all this underpainting appear behind that dark spot. It, it really tricks the eye to where that dark spot you know is on the top, so everything like that's subtler appears below it. All right, so we'll put one of those here and maybe a little, a little chaser. So you got big brother, little brother, and maybe we'll put a sister over here. 
You got a couple little, you know, we get a couple of these things going. And uh, don't get too crazy with them yet. We can have fun later. And don't put them exactly like I just did <laughs> on the same, same spot. But, you know, that one's darker. What you can do is throw it off with another little one by it. I usually work in threes with the freckles, or one or three, so it's an oddball because you don't want a little square pattern going on with freckles and it might, it might stand out. Maybe we'll hit this little chin one. You see, this one's a little taller, so you gotta get the edges so you're, you don't have holidays on the side. All right, all right. We got that, we can draw in the top of that lid maybe too. Maybe we will come back with some of that peach and just draw it back in. But now we're getting them kind of graveyard ready. All right, I'll be back and we'll go over some of this uh, cool tone. We'll drop some of that in and maybe uh, we'll dabble in some veins, okay? Oh, before you go, when you do this modeling, what you end up with is almost a natural little subtle vein pattern too. They start connecting up just randomly and that, that's just part of the, neat, the neatness of that. You can see some of this where they start connecting up just naturally and uh, it, it's just, just happy accidents. All right, cool, I'll see you in a minute, bye. All right, I'm back and uh, as promised, we're gonna come in with a little bit of my cool tone from the Lifeline set and uh, <clears throat> test this off model, get your spray line. We're just gonna dance in a little bit of the cool tone in here in these temples, uh, maybe down in some of these neck deep spots just to kind of simulate some of that underneath the uh, veinage that might be down in there. Okay, so let's uh, drop a little bit of this on just ever so softly. All right, it's gonna be hard to see maybe on camera. We're just kind of dancing a little bit of that, making that kind of creepy, Uncle Creepy. Uh, cool tone, you see some of that reads really neat. I like that, I like that, and we're coming. We're kind of going into the deep spots of the skull, really, and that's where all the, all the good stuff might be down in there. Oops, I went a little hot, so I'm not gonna worry about that because we'll drop a freckle strategically over that. He's a ghoul. Well, these are rerutable. Okay, well, we didn't do it, but uh, we'll just come in here, dance some of that. Don't freak out if you do that, don't worry. He's not a prom queen. He, we're going to go in and we'll, we'll fix that up. Yeah. Unless the boss is coming, then throw it away or, you know, hide it. All right. We'll dance some of that in there. Maybe under the cheeks a little bit. Let's go to this side. <clears throat> we'll try not to go so heavy on this side, maybe. In that one spot. <clears throat> Check your spray off model. Look some of that in there. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. And again, if you keep the airbrush moving, you're not gonna you're not gonna get those hang-ups. You know. Always just maybe even keep a paper towel handy, check your flow. Especially when you're just trying for a subtle, subtle pass. Alright, maybe a little in this brow line, we'll dance some of that. You can see how that's kind of looking real tasty in there. Come around here, little indentions in the, some of the skull contours. Oops, went heavy again. But we'll hide that with some other stuff. We'll let it ride. <clears throat> There's a lot going on, even though we went very easy with spatter and stuff. You know, there's a lot of cool stuff going on on this little guy already. So there we go. Don't forget under the chin if that's something I'm not gonna worry about under the chin with this color. Get up in here in some of these deeper areas. And that's the cool tone dance in there. Maybe we'll come back with some a little bit heavier uh, veins with uh, the uh, code blue, uh, or or we could even go to some of the uh, uh, expired blue. All right, <clears throat> that's got a little bit of uh, more opacity to it. But there's the cool tone, as you can see. All right, we'll go to the next color. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, we're ready for the next color. What I'm going to go to is the uh, expired blue. This one, shake it, give it a good shake. I've got some in here already. I put a couple drops of the 411 
reduce it just to make it flow a little easier. What we're going to do is drop in a couple just crispy little veins, you know, something like that. We're going to follow some of the patterns of the sculpt. And uh, let's go over here. There seems to be a little ridge around here somewhere. And we'll have these other capillary like ones that we have from the modeling crossovers and happy accidents. But I can see something going on here, so we'll just drop in a little temple vein here. Now, if you go a little wide, don't freak out. We can drop over some uh, dermatitis tan back over that here and there, splotching it up and kind of bury it again. <clears throat> So you see this a little bit, a little wiggle in something like that. And this is just kind of in conjunction with the uh, cool tone that we just put in. Yeah, there's not too many veins on the back of your head, although you do bleed if you get whacked over there. Um, we'll drop a couple little veins here. You one in your ear, you got one that's something wearing there. Yeah, let's put a couple little faint things in there. That's a real big one. What I like to do with those is uh, not always go over a sculpture because the, the high point might be a highlight actually and you'd shadow along the edge. So we can do that over here. So if you see a raised vein, <clears throat> that's usually the light part is the top, not paint it like, like a vein. You paint the side of it. And you'll see the blue on the side of it, the kind of the shadowy tone. All right. Let's put a little blue. So we got it in the gun, or the brush, we should say. They're not guns. We'll drop a couple in here. And we're ready for a little, I'm going to come up and we'll just tighten this up a little bit. We'll come here. We will bold, bold this one up a little bit too. That way they match on both sides. Bring that back there. Okay, so we got a couple veins. We'll come in, tighten these edges up a little bit, and uh, we'll be good. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Bye. All right, okay, we're back. I'm just going to do a quick fix on some of these heavy veins, in particular, some of this hardness. But it's good to have uh, dense and lighter veins because your veins don't just wiggle on the top of your skin or just underneath they go in and out of your skin you know so you have some get closer and then deep and and dive so we're just gonna tighten some of this up again test off model not on the table and we're just gonna dance a little dermatitis tan and knock this down now we could have went maybe with the uh, cool tone but it's just got a, a little greenier cast to it. I wanted some bluer veins, so we'll do that. Yeah. See, now we're kind of creating that highlight and that neat little... And now it's starting to really look uh, under the skin there. We'll pop a couple freckles that'll make that look even deeper. Yeah, this side's not... Uh, it can use a little help right in here. You know, we'll clean that up a little bit. And it's not the end of the world, you know. And in this case, you know, we'll drop in some dermatitis tan. You can always fleck in maybe, you know, some, uh, a little of your uh, surgery sienna, a little watery, just, just to put a little topical spatter on it. It's up to you. Probably, I'll probably just do it with the airbrush later and just pepper in some color lightly. I don't know what happened over here. We'll just knock that out of there a little bit. All right. Yeah. See, nothing's nothing is is not reversible. In fact, let's uh, do that real quick. Let's do this. Let's uh, <clears throat> get a little bit of our 4011. Just a little touch, and we're just gonna put like a dribble, dribble, a little touch of that in there. Literally, like maybe even two drops. Okay. We're just going to come back. We're just going to pepper this down a little bit. It's a little chalky. Just ever so slightly. Boom, boom, boom. Don't touch them. 
because it's reducer on there and it'll lift some of that bottom paint, okay? Just pepper in some of that. Maybe we'll just kind of carry it down and around. <clears throat> now, see, I started handling this too much on the ear before this was cured, so some of the paint's coming off a little bit. That's going to happen if you're handling it like that before the thorough cure time. All right. Let's do that. Maybe we'll do a touch of this. Oh. This was the shadow color from the from the eyes, eye sockets. We'll just pepper in a couple little quickies in there. Couple over here. Yep, I think we're there. All right, and I'll see you in a little bit with some more colors. We'll see where we're going. Let me figure something out. Maybe we'll grunge up his teeth. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back and we're ready to go. We just did the veins and some spattering just to tie them back underneath the skin. But I'm starting to think maybe he's a little pale for, for my taste. We'll warm him up a bit just to bring him back into the living, okay? So what I did was I reduced down some of the surgery sienna with some of our 4011 reducer. I did go about uh, between five and 10% on that. So we get a, a little test test off model. Let's go over here and we're just going to kind of do an overwash kind of just a, a very, we'll start very light. You don't want to be uh, blasting this everywhere. So what we're going to do, just start warming up some of the skin. Maybe leave some of these knobs, knobby heads a little less so they're a little high, highlighted already. And we'll kind of come around here and we still, we're still retaining a lot of that good stuff we put in already. We come around to the back, we'll, we'll leave this kind of bulgy a little lighter. This little cranial bulge. We'll just kind of halo it and then come down here. This is just kind of a knockdown for the whole paint job. Ever so light. You see how he's warming up. And we'll leave some of these high points alone. Well, we'll try to leave them alone a little bit. Come in there, get under here, always under the chin. We got a little heavy here, but we can fix that. Or not, I don't really mind it. Taking them into that real kind of icky skin tone. All right, we'll get in here a little bit. You can see how layering really is effective and it, it just brings it, brings it home. So we're, we're getting near where we can start dropping in the eyes and some cool stuff. See, that gives us a slight yellow tone, too, to the ears that uh, your ears uh, often have. I don't know if that has anything to do with the wax. <laughs> All right, I'll come back. Leave the highlight here. Are we out of paint? Yep, we're out of paint, so we'll throw a little bit more <coughs> 4011 in here. A couple drops of this. Surgery Sienna again. Maybe one, two. All right, seal that. Kind of in, in, in cut mix. We just want to wash. We're almost done. So we're just gonna knock this down. Oops, put our lid on so we don't spill it on our shoes. Since this is a little warmer here, we'll, put, we'll equal it up over here. We kind of got, got him going into the world. All right. So that's that pass. <clears throat> I think without even really rinsing out the cup, because it wasn't a lot of paint in there, we're going to shift right into some uh, <clears throat> blunt trauma umber straight away out of the bottle. And there she blows. All right, what we're going to do with this, and I guess I do have a little bit over here. But we'll, we'll live with it for now. Nah, no we won't. Let me just do a little bit of touch up. Quick touch up, a little more of this. But we'll move right into the blood trauma umber. One drop, because we just need the faintest mix. The faintest uh, little amount, little dash will do you. Just gonna bring this a little deeper to match the other side. 
Yeah, you know, nobody's head symmetrical that, that much. So we'll put a little more there, a little here, a little there. Yeah, that's neat. That's really cool. And that's the transparent quality of these paints it really lends itself to these airbrush washes. All right, give this a quick wipe. Not really, because they're in the same ballpark color-wise. Seal up the Sienna, Blunt Trauma Umber. Give this just a quick little shake shake. Just a little dab, because we're just going to do some freckling, some, some spotting. There's your, your, your brown. We're not going to go dark, dark. Well, maybe we will. Let's see. All right. I want to put one right here. So what we'll do is uh, start slow and close in. And we got a nice little highlight right there. A little, little hard shell peppercorn, I like to call them. All right? But I like doing them in threes. So we'll do another tiny one over here. And then we'll do, uh, let's do one more over here. So there's that. See how that pushes that back? We'll put a couple here. But here we're just going to go a little lighter and just kind of infer some spottage. Just kind of random. Different densities by going in and out and how much we put. All right. Here, let's, we can just dust this a little bit and blend some of that in. Let's, let's get this guy dark again. I lined him up. But I like them dark, I think. Yeah, I just got to get the size. He's a little raised up, so then we'll get that guy. Bring that one that was in his ear back. Give him some little livery spots coming. Now, he'd probably carry some of those all the way to the back of his head. I envision him with a real, just sparse amounts of long kind of white and gray hair, maybe. Kind of like a, you know, funeral, funeral director or what have you. It right, looks like this got a little orange. So we can just come back with just the slightest mist of uh, maybe the dermatitis tan. You know, you're gonna have some areas you gotta always go back and just knock back, knock back or knock in kind of the nature of um, painting. And I think it just ultimately adds up and that's what makes the magic happen. There's all these little accidents and then the corrections and then that's really part of the paint job, you know. Let's put a couple hard ones up here. Let's see that. Put a hard dark one there. See, same color but <clears throat> you can get a good range of uh, color value with the one shade. All right, so let me uh, take a moment, wash this out. I'll go to Dermatitis Tan and I'll show you how to we'll clean that up just a touch and then uh, we'll be on this maybe the eyes, okay? I'll see you in a minute. Bye.